I have a confession to make. I've been a drug addict since age 15. Hello, nation. Yes, it's true. I've been addicted to drugs since I was 15 years old, using needles and mind-altering drugs. I've had to use emergency services for overdoses. Yes, I am a person with type 1 diabetes. I've been shooting up insulin since 1970. And yes, I am a totally addicted to this stuff. I just can't kick my habit. Now let's talk about the other drugs that can cause some serious problems in people with diabetes. I'm just going to go through a few and mention just a couple things. Let's talk about marijuana. Marijuana can give you the munchies. And when you have the munchies and you're diabetic, yum. Your blood sugar can go through the roof. You may not be taking enough insulin and you may take too much insulin. What about cocaine? Cocaine can reduce your appetite and it can also lead to heart problems. And if you have type 2 diabetes, that could be a serious issue. What about ecstasy? Ecstasy not only increases your physical activity, but it also reduces your appetite and it makes you lose your ability to detect hypoglycemia. So with all threes together, you can have a serious hypoglycemic reaction. When people with diabetes taking drugs get admitted to the hospital, they have a much higher rate, their outcomes are worse, people with type 1 go into ketoacidosis, and people with type 2 diabetes have a higher incidence of heart attacks and strokes. What makes matters worse is that the professional community is undertrained to recognize and treat drug addiction in people with diabetes. If you're hooked on one of these substances, do some research, find the best healthcare professional or clinic that can help you get off those substances. Ask your friends, email me, I will personally help you find someone to help you. So remember, you want to stay healthy for yourself and your family. So long, nation. Mm -hmm.